how to add portfolio on Fiverr. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get jobs on Fiverr, and we're going to get straight into it. So the first thing you need is a Fiverr sellers account. And if you haven't got one, you can just log in uh, or sign up with an email address and a password and some personal details. Now, up on the top right hand side over here, you can see uh, that there is a profile picture and uh, we're going to just tap on that profile picture and you can see that it gives you your name your username email address and then you have the opportunity to switch to a buyer so the first thing we're going to do here is go in to profile and then we are going to have a look at how we can change things on our profile so this is essentially uh, changing or adding a portfolio so a portfolio consists of two things first of all it's your personal details all of your experience your skills where you operate how you operate a good profile picture and then the second part uh, consists of having gigs that people can see you are capable of doing so the more gigs you have here the better right so the first part we're going to do is our portfolio on the left hand side so right over here you can see here we have where you're from we have a member a date and then as you go down here you have a description as well as the languages that you specialize in and so as you go down here you know this starts to get filled up so you can change your profile picture i suggest not doing a profile picture like this a profile picture like this really um it doesn't leave you with uh, much for your for your buyer to to sort of look at so it's definitely not professional um you know it doesn't look like a professional headshot going down now your availability this can be edited this is important because if you are available then you want to make sure that people know you're available so you can choose the dates that you're available so your first day and your last day and then all buyers can contact me you want to leave that on and then you want to add a message which is optional but it says buyers will see this message on your profile and on your gig pages so you want to put something in there so people know that you're available from this time to that time and so forth so i'm going to leave that blank for now just for the um, sole purpose of this video then we go over into the learn section and it says earn badges and stand out now this is also a great way to boost your portfolio and build up a great looking portfolio because remember on fiverr which is just one um platform there are many, many people that are doing exactly what you're doing. So you want your portfolio to really stand out. So you're going to go ahead. You're going to tap on enroll now. And once you've tapped on enroll now, you can see over on this new window, you can start enrolling on all of these uh, Fiverr Learn courses. So we're going to come back to that in just a second. You also now have a description and the description here says, I'm an awesome worker. I work hard. I'm dedicated. So on. This description really is very general. The kind of description you want to enter in here must be more specific to your skill set and more specific to your field that you're working in. Then, again, having a look at the languages, if you speak any language at all, it is a good idea to put it in here because somebody may need your language skill at the level that you are um, able to give them. So you just go ahead over here, you're going to tap on... Uh, add new and you can see here you can add the language you can just type it in there um, and once you've done so you can now choose the level that you have an understanding of of that language so basic conversational fluent and native so wherever you are you can just go ahead you can tap on that and then you're going to tap on add once that is in that will also broaden your your scope and your perspective when people are looking at your portfolio so you'll appeal to more people then the test uh take your uh, test your skills earn more trust so if you want to learn more about this you can tap on the learn more tab basically this test will um let's just open that so basically what it'll do is it will test your skills and increase your buyers trust and generate more orders so you can go ahead and you can choose um what sort of you know what 
uh, category you fall in and then you'll do a test accordingly and then your score will be displayed publicly so that potential buyers can see this and they can see your skill level then when we come down to skills you want to add in your skills whatever skills you have you want to add it in here all you do is tap on add new skill um, you have a look for it so for example uh, you can start typing uh, and you can have a look over here and it says an RPA developer just for example you can just select that and then your experience level beginner intermediate expert you can go ahead select your skill level it is also very important to select the correct skill level if you are selecting a lower skill level than your actual skill level um, this could be detrimental to you if you're selecting a skill level that's higher than your actual skill level this also may be detrimental to you you may be biting off way too much than you can actually chew you're going to go ahead and tap on add over there now you have your skills right so and then you having your education tab you want to fill in all of your education qualifications in over here as much as possible once you tap on add new you have to now uh, select the country that you've got the um the certificate or the education from and then the college or the university's name the title and um, the um, the year of your graduation and then you're going to hit add and that will be in there as well so this is also important so people know why you're educated and how you're educated so they can see that when they're purchasing something from you or when they're using your services then they know where it's coming from you also then have the certificate area which um, you can now add you can upload any certificate so you just go ahead add new certificate of award you can now you know add in whatever it is that you'd like to over there and then you can um, enter in where you got the certificate from or what it's for and what year this happened in here and you're going to hit add now once all of this has been completed you will have a more full profile you'll have an actual portfolio so when a buyer or a potential buyer clicks on your name and this is what they see they're gonna either want to hire you or they're gonna want to not hire you because you're not um, set for the kind of work that they need done so the next part of um, the portfolio is if you're having a look here so we have the learn courses which I spoke of earlier on and here you can go into any one of these courses and you can actually you can purchase the course and then what happens is you get a badge for that course I think it's absolutely fantastic it gets displayed right over here by your badges so once you've done that you know it'll be up over here on your profile now once you've actually done um, one or two of these courses making sure that it is in your niche um, so that you can still offer services within your own niche and become uh, more skillful within your niche so you'll have all your badges uh, displayed right over here now going into the second part of your portfolio it is your active gigs so this is what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on this create a new gig button right over here and once you've clicked on that you'll have the opportunity to create a totally new gig now a gig basically is a job or a service that you're going to offer so just for example a videographer or a video editor let's take a video editor for example the gig title it says um, I will and then you can say here um, I will edit your videos keep it simple however do elaborate a little bit make sure that you're mentioning certain platforms that you're using uh, certain softwares that you're using so people can see what software you're using and what sort of level of professionalism they are actually receiving from you then you've got the categories you want to create a category and a subcategory uh, just to go through this quickly then you can also um, add search tags so people can actually find your gigs when they're looking for gigs and as you go through then you will define your pricing you will also define your description and your frequently asked questions and then you have certain requirements that you've got to set up and then you can add images videos documents to your gallery and this will be examples of previous work maybe or whatever the case may be and then you're going to publish it and once you have done all of this you will get something that looks like this now 
this was also just a quick uh, well, mock-up of a, a gig but if you go over to your profile picture on the top right hand side and you go and click on switch to buyer you can see hundreds and thousands of fantastic examples of people with great portfolios and offering great gigs so just for example you can go ahead into this first one here you're going to open up his portfolio and over here you can see um, his entire portfolio you, you can see what people have been saying about him you can see that um, this is what he does he's got his certain delivery days and so forth and then about the seller this is basically what the portfolio section the first section that we entered in this is basically what this is so as you can see over here all of the details and this is definitely somebody that you would want to hire because this person has a lot of information in his portfolio and you really really want to um, be able to communicate with somebody and be transparent with somebody so this is a great example of a good uh, portfolio there we go ladies and gentlemen i hope this video was informative i hope it was helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave us a like if you have any questions or comments don't forget you can leave it in the comment section and we will see you in the next video cheers for now guys